In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Bing X grid bot. You can actually do so many things with the grid bot, and currently, as you can see, I'm on the Bing X website. So, I'm going to show you how to use everything if you're actually using the trading bot for the first time. So, first of all, let's go to the trading bot section and let me talk about it. So, my laptop is actually here, so I don't mind if I'm actually looking at this section. So, the first thing I want to do is to come to Wealth, and on Wealth, you're going to see Trade Grid Boot. Sorry, click on the Grid Boot and you are going to see all these you're going to see different types of grid boots they have the futures grid boots they have the sports grid boots and the sports infinity grid boots so each of these grid boots are actually unique based on um how you might actually know them the uh, features grid has to do with is similar to the futures market whereby you can actually buy and you can actually sell depending on how you predict the market and on the sports section the spot section has to do with um, the spot section has to do with you buying buying low and selling high, which is what the sports grid is all about. And the sports infinity is more of like you can see it says advanced sports, whereby you know it just it just keeps trading, just keeps trading from just keep trading all um different assets and everything. All right. So let me go ahead and start with the sports grid because it's very easy for you to understand i'll click on i fully understand and confirm these things so on the sports grid it looks like this you have auto and you also have manual so on the auto section it's more of like it's just going to help you do those um basic things and you just have to put your investments and that's all then you can start you can start um it's, it's going to start investing in these assets but if you want to know select your assets you click on this section you click on this btc slash usd then you're going to see you're going to see the search button where you can actually search for peers you want so you want to search for the coins you know you want to buy sports you know your sports trading account is more like where you hold assets so you want to search for those assets that you want to hold definitely so let's say for example i want to hold dodge usdt so i'll click on that then i'll put my investments so um above 50 dollars you can only use above 50 dollars so let's say 50 dollars so you put sorry this is i don't have any I don't have any amount right now. That's why it's not allowing me to impute um, $50. All right. So my, sports, my funding account is zero. So if you come to the manual, the manual section whereby you put the amount you want to buy, the low price you want to buy. And in order for you to do this, is for you to go ahead and check the, um, it's for you to actually check the market. If you click on this candlestick icon close to it, it's going to allow you it's going to allow you see the market itself so you can actually know when to buy and you know all those stuff so you can just do your little analysis if you, if you feel the price is going to come down maybe in the next one week or in the next few hours you can go ahead and put your lower price then set the amount of greed the amount of greed is more like the lower the greed the more profit you'll be able to make the higher the greed the less profit you'll be able to make so let's say if you have about 30 grid here and you said you said you want the price to be let's say about zero point zero three let's just let's just use the value given on those um the lower value this is the lower value then right now i can't i can't really change this investment price i can't really change the investment price but let's put it let's put let's set this to zero point eight three so like, let's just put this so if you notice immediately i put the upper price where i want to sell then the grid book shows me the profit slash grid ratio which is this which is three percent to eighty percent all right so if i increase this grid you're going to notice the profits would, would, would definitely reduce so now you can see it's 70 percent you can see it has reduced so let me change this to 90 percent you can see it keeps reducing so that's just how it is so after that you want to go ahead and click on and create the grid and you don't set stop loss for uh, for sports trend grid because you're actually just buying the assets and it's low and selling high basically you're not losing then for these features this is where you can lose basically so at this point you have a um, natural natural is whereby it trades it go longs for you and it also go short for you and long has to do with buying short has to do with selling i'm sure most of you are familiar with that then let's say for example um that i'm sure you're familiar the auto is similar to the auto on the um sports grid which i explained to put your investments then if you come to the manual section whereby you put the lower price and you put the upper price let's say for example i want to go long then i'll put the price at which i want to go long which i want to um, the long means 
I can say I can put this I can put the market price in which it's at right now. The market can put the market price and it's going to you know once yeah, go long means once the candlesticks reach that particular um particular point, it's going to start once you reach that particular point and the market starts going up, then you make profit. So for this one, I want to go to the chart section so we can actually see how it looks like. So we can see how it looks like. All right, so I'm opening I'm I'm actually opening this right now. Then it's still opening. It's opening. Let me click on. I don't want all this. Yeah. All right. So we are on it right now. So let me see if it's similar to. Um. Okay. All right. So um, as you can see, this is the chart. This is what the chart. This is what the chart looks like. For example, I don't want to change the um, BTC, USDT, Yen, Trade, some um, one of um some other coins that are much better. I'll go with PP. I think they have PP right here. I just saw PP here. Yeah. So I'll go with the PP, the one thousand PP right here. I'll go with the one thousand PP right here. Then you just put your lower price. Let me say zero point zero zero two five two seven four. Put that. Then I'll put profit. I'll put my profit to. So, 0 0.0172 now then i'll put the amount of greed i want the amount of, of greed is more of like the gap in which it will start to, it will actually trade okay the yeah, gap it will actually trade that's what the grid is all about so a yeah, grid can the grid is like each each point if the price increases again if the price increases by maybe a certain percentage it trades it trades another boot and that boot you know, it takes another order again. So if you have 40 trade and the price keeps going up, it trades one, trades one, trades one, trades one, trades one, like that. See, it keeps going up basically. So till you get to the point where you can actually see what see it gets the point where you take your profit. So that's just how it works. And you put your investment, you put the amount of money you're willing to risk for that, and that's all. And you can actually create a grid boot for futures grid. So now if you come to the sports infinity, let's click on create. Sports Infinity, you can click on. Let me let's go to the manual. You already understand that. But one thing you also need to note, yes, I forgot, I forget. The futures grid, you want to make sure you set your stop loss and take profit. Just set your stop loss and take profit. So on this section, you can see the grid boost. You just put in the Sports Infinity um, grid. You just have to, you can select your asset again. Then you put in the minimum price. Let's just say, okay, let's say the minimum price is supposed to be okay, 0. Point zero zero four one just put put the price then profit let's say zero point fifty then you set your investment price and you set your you enable staple uh, your tp slash and sl which is take profits and uh, stop loss you can set you want to take profit maybe once it gets to ten percent you want to set your stop loss Maybe you want to sell your stop loss forty percent. This stop loss I'm actually showing you right here is in case you want to do that for futures trading. You don't need to use, um, you don't need to use stop loss for spots. You don't need to use stop loss for spots. Stop loss is advisable to use on the futures only the futures. Remember. So after that it's done, then you can click on create a grid boot. So it's that easy. Grid boot allows you to make money. They are just boots that actually trade the market every 24 hours. You don't need to keep on monitoring the market movements and all. It just keeps running for you and you make all your money for yourself, which is very, very easy. And most people have actually been making tons of money with this. All right. So if you actually enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.